What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Man, today we finna do a mukbang, mukbang, mukboom, oh. whatever. Um, we got some Domino's, Domino's little mukbang. Sausage. I got sausage. She got cheese. Cheese. Going to be Oops. Oops. How do they usually start these? Right, so we gonna talk about. Do they start this eating first? Then I we gonna talk eat. about. ASM, ASMR. No, that's when you just eat. Okay, go. But we gonna talk about. Oh. The topic is gonna be about when the baby was born, how he was born. He was born different. Everybody think he was born normal. Like he came out, we seen him, he stayed with us, this and that. True. But. And it was, it didn't, it didn't happen like that. So, I'm gonna let you start. And then I have to say what I have to say. And we were supposed to record, but it was so much going on. We couldn't even touch our phone. Actually, they said that we couldn't record inside of the uh, hospital. No, but like, recording, you know, they were talking about the actual delivery. We still kind of kind of could snuck a little video or whatever. But like the whole process of everything before and after. My birthday is August 21st, and Kanai's birthday is August 24th. So he was born two, three days after my birthday. I was about to have him on my birthday. I had a doctor's appointment on my birthday. Me, this one, and one of my friends went and the doctor took my blood pressure. I think she said it was like, it was like 150 something over something. And she was like, that's weird because my whole pregnancy, I never had high blood pressure or nothing. So she was like, let me check it again. So she checked it again with a different cuff and she was like, that's strange because it's still, Higher. So she was like, I'm gonna meet you to the hospital tonight. And she was like, you might be having Kanai tonight. And I was just like, no. And this one told my son, but you want me to go get the stuff from the car? You want me to go get the yoga no ball? Cap. And your stuff? I'm happy to get all that shit. Cause I'm like, damn, I'm tired of looking at this shit around. I'm just like, you want me to get that shit now? I go get all that shit. Then we got in the hospital. We stayed there for like 30 minutes. Nothing happened. They, uh. And we was there for long. We was there for a couple of hours. Yeah, it was a couple of hours. That was the other time. Cause they were monitoring if my blood pressure was gonna go down. What made me go home that night <clears throat> on my birthday. Yeah, cause, cause the, I think the lady, she uh, did it wrong. She, yeah, she used the she, wrong cuff. She, yeah, she used the wrong thing. And out of nowhere, she was like, oh, my blood pressure dropped to like 120 something. You could sue that though. And my yeah. doctor called me, she was like, that was weird. But she was like, I could go home. So I went home. The whole night. No, the next two, two days before I had to go back to the hospital. Babe, I think it's coming. Babe, I think it's coming. But wait, I think she made me come back. It was the next day, Mo. No, I had him on the 24th. Well, I went in the hospital the 23rd. Oh, you had Dr. Puma on Friday. That was, that was Oh, yeah. I had 24th. another one on the 23rd. Whatever. Because she said she wanted to check up and make sure I was okay. So... She took my blood pressure again, tested my urine and all that stuff, and she was like, everything looked fine, but the blood pressure's still high. And she was like, yeah, he's coming tonight. And like towards the end of my pregnancy, my stomach started. Uh, that bit like a pill. <laughs> a lopsided pill. My no stomach shit. was like, one side was up, the other side was down. But he was getting, um, he was trying to make room in my body. Cause I'm small. You just play the story too slow, man. They trying to know what the hell going. Hurry up! Don't rush me. Patience hey, is key. Comment down below. You trying to? And she just explaining too slow, man. We trying to speed this yeah, up, man. Just I'm trying to eat at the same time, my nigga. Ain't nobody deep. This like her. You. This her. This her. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so she admitted me to the hospital <clears throat> that day on the 23rd. They were still monitoring my blood pressure but then it kept going higher and higher so they said I had to get induced and they asked me is that something I want to do or I want to wait so I called my mom like a big baby and I was like mom I don't know what to do they're telling me I need induced and all the stories I heard about being induced I was like oh my god I don't want to get induced so I said yeah okay I'll do it so then she was like okay I'm gonna get your stuff together I'm gonna take you down to room 255 while we was walking down the hall, my heart fell out my ass because my friend had her baby at the same hospital a year before me. All the doctors was like, oh, thank God she was in room 255 because that's where all the crazy stuff go, on, go down. So when they told me that's the room I was getting, I was about to cry. But I ain't say nothing to nobody at the moment. 
because you know my mama ain't raised no bitch. <laughs> so we checked in the triage room and they started hooking me up to all that stuff, right? They hook, they they brought us to our room, like our official room. Yes, and they hooked up everything. Oh yeah. Then they gave me the, they induced me through the the IV with the, I think it's called pitocin. Instead of going down there and like popping me between 11 and 12, my waters broke, and it was just gushing, gushing, gushing in the bed. And I was like, what the heck is this? <clears throat> and then. The doctor, the nurse came and asked me did I want the epidural. I was like, no. And then the pain started getting um, unbearable. So I called and I was like, I want the epidural. So they said Dr. Brown was gonna come and do it. And every time they said he was coming, he was taking too damn long. So I'm screaming, I'm cussing everybody out. I'm like, where the fuck is Dr. Brown? Nigga took by the hour to get to the damn room. Exactly. Shit, I couldn't deliver the baby down so Bill. So Dr. Then, Brown about that. Yeah, <laughs> so then he finally came and did the epidural and the whole time he doing the epidural looking at him across the room he looked like he was about to pass out because i guess the needle was really long but i didn't know how it looked like that bit about that long all my hand going out <laughs> that bit so long i ain't even look no more all i know is when he shot that first dose or whatever it was I just fell right into the nurse titties and I was like, oh my God. And I was like, I was like, she's so pretty. I said, I like your hair. And she started laughing and she was like, oh my God. She was like trying to hold yourself up and she was holding me or whatever. And then she left. And then I think I, I we knocked out for a while. And then they all came rushing in the morning. They were like, good morning. You're having a baby today. I was like, Whoa. I was scared about and it was what was 10 going to happen. Ten o'clock. That's when you had him. I didn't have him at ten, but I had him at one sixteen. I said that's when you started pushing. That's what I said. Yes. And before I started pushing, they had, like they couldn't tell me if the doc doctor was almost there or not. Every time we asked the bitch, "Where's the doctor? She coming?" But, bitch, yeah, I think she was at home. She was at home. She had to be at the house because um, no, she was doing a C-section in another hospital. What the fuck? So she finally came. Uh, I started pushing, but it was tough because my waist down, I couldn't really feel anything. And I specifically told them I wanted to stand up and try different positions, but they just wanted to have me on my back. And it was kind of all out of my control because I, I was gone off all them damn things because they kept pumping me with more and more epidural to keep my blood pressure down. Just so far though. Basically they had to push, they had to deliver the baby for me. All I did was push. They held my body parts and everything because they said if I moved around or did too much, I could go into a, um, what is it, a stroke or a heart attack. I was pushing from 10 and I had him at 116. See, now you want to say 10 because I said 10. No, I didn't tell you were wrong. Oh. Oh. The hell were you trying to check? Um, you nigga. But um, the pushing part was hard. I was crying. I was screaming. Slobbing. Oh my Don't God. tell about the good part. <laughs> then this one to my son. Oh, they they said you were doing a great job and he was almost there. He told my son. I still ain't seen the nigga head. I don't know what. what? The fuck they told my son. You're doing great, honey. You're doing okay. You're doing great. She like, they, they like, push, push. I'm like, oh, that, that was a good one, that was a good one. Hey, I and, said, then, and then look. Like, I wanted to say like, that wasn't shit. Like, she ain't do nothing. What the fuck are they talking about? But I'm like, oh, they probably just trying to get in her head, like, to make her think like, oh, okay, I'm really doing something. But she wasn't doing, you wasn't doing shit. I'm gonna let you know you wasn't doing, you wasn't doing anything, baby. Then my mom came, but she brought my little brother and she couldn't come in the room she couldn't leave him by himself in the lobby so she was so mad she called the hospital then she called the room and they was like no nobody's coming she here. was calling the room while she was delivering the baby <laughs> while she was pushing right like we were going yeah hello yeah she's yes yeah she's pushing yeah uh-huh but when we got to the last push that was the most excruciating yeah because it was either that or pain. a c-section yes but my doctor was real patient with that and then when he came out, it felt like a ring of fire for real. And then um, while he came out, after he came out and they was stitching me up or whatever, 
this one couldn't even look. <laughs> Bro, no, let me tell this part. So look, uh, this nigga came out. That nigga was blue, man. That bitch was like this. That bitch was blue, like blue purple. And like, I'm just looking, I'm just like, damn. And then they try to bring us to kiss him. I was like, ah. I don't want to kiss, I want to kiss buddy right now. Uh-uh. No, I kissed but him. You kissed him? Mm-hmm. I couldn't hold him, though. I was weak. They was like, hold Yeah, I, I got too weak. I couldn't yeah. kiss him. Bitch, why? Why you was weak? Bitch, I don't. I, I was about to pass out. So look, Jit came out, Jit came out the room. Boof. Man, the only, like, the only thing that, like, was, I was off, that was off, because I never actually seen no bird. Like, I never actually was in the room when somebody gave birth. So, like, when the baby came out, the nigga legs was like coming this way instead of like you know how you walk like this like poop poop poop. The nigga legs was like slapping him in the face. They was they, they, they were going the opposite direction. They called it um and um hyperextended knee joint something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. And it was so weird because he was like they they laid him down. Everything was is fine, but instead of his legs like going straight like a baby, they they went straight, but they were coming. Oh, like imagine your knees. I don't even know how, 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 like how to explain it, but like, all right, imagine you standing straight up and your legs, like your, your toe, could come and slap you right in the forehead. Like this shit was just—it was so weird. I ain't never seen that. And instantly, I thought I was like, damn, I never should have picked on those niggas back in elementary school, <laughs> dog. Damn, I just like damn. I had a picture. I was like, damn, my son messed up. I like I didn't I didn't give up or anything and lose hope. I just was like it's something I never seen before and then I was really down at at the moment. Wow. I was really I was really down at the moment because I, I didn't know what to expect out of that. And then they were saying like he was blue and stuff like that. So immediately he wasn't he, breathing. Yeah. Yeah. And immediately I couldn't breathe either. When, when when he came out the room, they did everything they had to do. It first of all, it was so many people that came in the room. It mm -hmm. like everybody just started coming. It was probably like twenty people in there coming in there. And um, they took him out the room instantly. Like they took him out the room instantly. We can hold him, see him like that. Like we just see him go from her vagina to the table to mm -hmm. out the room. And then uh, they brought him back in this long ass case, like a long case um thing. And he was in there, like, what they like wrapped the, up. Would they keep the um, NICU babies? Yeah, in? yeah. And then they sent him to the NICU and to another hospital. I don't think they can see that there. They can't no, they see that, can't. but um, I'll try to insert some uh, pictures or whatever, kind of like right, um, right there. I insert some some pictures so y'all can see, like when he was in the NICU and stuff like that, and then you know from when he was in the NICU to how he is now, he's doing fine now. His, his knees and everything, his legs, everything's good. Man, don't skip whatever. The whole NICU part. Yeah, we're gonna get into that too. Go ahead, you tell the Nikki part. Well, um... He was there for like four, four days? Six. Six days, he was there for six days. What made it even worse, as a new mother, everybody knows like how you wanna I hold keep, your I kid. Your water, man. How you wanna hold your kid and all that stuff, or whatever. And you wanna bond, I don't and it family was, come up It was heartbreaking though. It was like... The baby and stuff. Then, because of my high blood pressure, I had to stay in the hospital after i had him and the same day i had him i had to sign off papers for him to be transported to another hospital in another nicu yeah and the um NICU, they didn't have everything while he was in the nicu i had to stay in the hospital for six days and then they put me on magnesium for like a whole day i couldn't get out the bed i was on bed rest for the whole day if i had bed to poop, pee i had to do it in a little pan and everybody had to like hold me up and wipe me every time after the um after i was off of the bed rest i had to like every time i had to get up to use the bathroom i peed on myself by the time i put one foot on the ground and he had to clean up he was doing more than clean the nurses up all that shit niggas i'm telling you if you if you have a baby by, the, by a girl you better love, you better love that girl. I'm telling you, but cause boy, if you ain't ready to pick up no shit, clean up no piss, wipe a nigga ass. <laughs> I'm telling you. 
Leave that shit alone. Don't nut it up, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It's from experience, bro. If you're not ready to wipe her ass, clean her shit. Clean her piss. It Leave it alone, bro. It ain't for you. You feel me? Because um, that shit. Pressure. What else? For the that six days. Pressure. They just kept drugging me up every morning. I had to take this pill. Shit, how did it be? Like, it, I was on so many things. I was on the epidural, the magnesium, the, but, uh, like, two, three other pills. So, I was, like, gone. I couldn't take a shower. I couldn't do nothing. But, look, day by day, though, it got better, though. Day by yeah, day, it got it better. And my blood pressure was still high. Everybody was like, you know, get better so you can leave the hospital to go see Kanai. But I was stressing about that. But I didn't really open up to anybody else in there. Like, nobody really had seen me cry in the hospital but i did have a lot of support my um parents came up there with their pastor yeah, all of our my parents, brothers and friends, family. um came but, in there and then remember the part where my mom came with her pastor and all them we it was deep it was like 10 people in the room and they was praying hard, singing church um, songs, Haitian church songs. And they was praying, praying in English and Creole, going hard. And then the nurse came in to check my vitals. And she walked in and she was like, M she was like, I'll come right back. All you hear is, Jesse, what's up, Jesse, what's up? This one was in the corner, laid back, like, what the hell? I don't know. I didn't know. I, know. I, I, know. I, know. I was chilling, bro. Oh man, and then I meant to say something, but you didn't forget. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot what I was gonna say. Sorry, cuz. But then on the sixth day, I finally got to get out the hospital. Well, no, the a few days after he got to the NICU, they called me and they said I'm he might need surgery. So I was just like, fuck. Okay, yeah, so we had to sign papers and stuff. Yeah, store. they can do the surgery while he's young, cause you know his bones still gotta form or whatever. I was like, damn. And then like two days after, they called me and they said they don't need to do surgery. Then his mom and uh, my peoples went to go see him in NICU like almost every day or every other day. Yeah, if you never seen nothing like that before, like, like you gonna trip out. Like that's why I was doing. I was tripping out. Like I was like, damn. Am I like? Am I really seeing this right now, bro? Like I'm really experiencing. This is my jit. Like I'm. I'm like, damn, my Jeff gonna come out, bro. He gonna play football, bro, basketball. And I seen that, I said, damn. It happened so fast. Literally, right after I had him, I had to sign papers for them to transport him to the other hospital. Then we couldn't even, he couldn't even come up to That's the him thing in the NICU. To, to say bye. That's him in the NICU with the leg braces and stuff on his legs. Yeah, so they could turn his legs back into so the right direction. Them. I finally got to leave the hospital on the sixth day after I had him. I had to go to CVS to get some um, prescription. Couldn't even make it in there. I peed on myself in there, in the store. Then I finally... Good thing I wanted to... I finally got to the NICU the next day. I seen him and it was so unbelievable because it was like... I was like, dang. I really got a baby. Like, me? That's my baby? I'm like, that cute. He likes to get his hell. And, um... That you know, red. we came in from time to time to see him. He was in there for six days. We came in there every day, man. Yeah. And we fed him, changed his diaper and stuff. He was scared to change the poop diaper and all. And then we finally got to discharge him. It took forever to get him out the dang NICU. Ma, I think the only thing that was bothering me was his legs. I ain't like his legs like that. I just felt like it was really weird to me. Like, I never seen a baby with legs like that. So it was just like... Like what a free like yeah it was the dude legs is like bent like bro i'm sure y'all the pictures y'all gonna see the pictures got to take him home yeah we finally got to take him home and after that everything is we were straight god has blessed us yeah that's him right there well you load up some pictures that's Fact baby so. Kanai. Now he is healthy. Yeah, and bad. Bad. He's starting to crawl right Very now. Very healthy, natural baby. Don't and take he, no he shots. Talk, he said, Dada, you know what I'm He don't take no Dada. shots, no medicine, everything natural. But, uh. Rarely sick. Yeah, everything is good now, you know. For all my moms, um, when you have, when you give birth, expect the unexpected. Don't go in there with expectations. Leave it in God's hands. Yeah, that's it's a big gonna one. be okay. And for us, our next kids will be a home water birth because 
I, the hospital, it was just too much. The drugs and all the people in the room, it was just too much. It was so many. They, they, they drug, they drug, they drug you up the first day you got there. The first day she got there, they drug her. From the first day to, I wouldn't even, the, the last day, the second from last day, they stopped. Cause they wanted to like, slow your shit. Uh, when I stuff. finally got to take a shower, I was like, I sat in that jet tub for the longest. Jet tub, like, it, it's like, she was just like handicapped, like, nothing. No that was that was the worst. No disrespect to handicapped people. That was the most traumatic time of my life. Like, she like she couldn't like walk. She couldn't do nothing but just talk. That's it. I could barely do that. They told me not to talk to just lay down, yeah. rest, but don't get no. Her business. mom and everybody else kept trying to talk. Boy, y'all know Haitians. My mom called that every damn day, trying to give me some bouillon or her bunch of fruits or banana and stuff like that. But you know that's. She That's tried to keep her do. conversation the whole day, yeah. Yeah, but that was, that was tough. To to this day, though, I still kind of hold that in my heart that right after I had him, I wasn't able to hold him right away and stuff. So. I mean, I didn't want to hold him. It was That's tough. just me. I, if I I'm not talking about when he came fresh out of me. I'm saying in general, like, we couldn't. We weren't together I'm just telling you with me. Same hospital. Like, listen, if I wouldn't hold him when he first came out, listen, I'm falling on the ground, babe. Oh God, Ooh, I'm fat. I'm, I'm so weak, yeah, but I'm so weak, bro. I was oh, weak. Like he came out of bed, he came out of bed fat. I said, that's crazy. That's crazy, right? That was, that was crazy. Then they lift him up, his legs like. That just tore my heart apart. Yeah. They, I had him, yeah. I'm laying in the bed. I'm thinking they're finna bring him back or, or something like that. And they just like, oh, we have to transport him to home at but the hospital. I, I should have told you that. Well, I was trying to tell her, but everybody's in the room. I was trying to whisper to her. I'm just like, hey, why his legs like that? Like, yeah, all you heard was, what's wrong with his legs? What's wrong with his yeah, legs? Yeah, I was like, nurses walking around. What's wrong with his legs? The doctor looking like, what the hell is that? Fuck, no. Like, this is how the doctor was looking. She put that bill out, handed it to the lady. She was like this. Like, the baby was over there in the corner. She was like. Yeah, she even stopped stitching me up to look over there. She was like frozen. I don't think she ever seen nothing like that before. And she, she said that like a few nights later she came I don't think she room. ever seen nothing like that before. She was like yeah, stuck. Yeah, she said she never seen it before. She was stuck, yo. I was like, if she was stuck and, and she a daughter, she did with this type of, you know I was stuck. I, I was just like, ah, like, that's my jet. <laughs> That shit was tough to wake up every day in the hospital. But eventually, when we got and him, we was good though, right? Right, Ben? Wait, no come on, don't cry, babe. It's okay, babe. Oh, come on. You alright? Babe, we it's okay, babe. Come on, that's alright, okay? Me. Hundred thousand on the cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want some killers, my niggas a load up.